Hey everyone, I apologize for the terrible camera quality. It's the best I have, so I'm gonna work with it. I'm gonna try and keep this short and sweet. I bought an Atreya 62 keyboard about six weeks ago, and I wanted to post a review about it since I couldn't really find a good one when I was trying to decide whether or not I wanted to buy it. I've been using it as my daily driver so far at both home and at work, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm a software engineer, so I use it for writing code, writing emails, documentation, gaming, and pretty much everything in between. Um, a little background, I've been into ergonomic keyboards for about three years. My previous daily driver is an Advantage 2, Kinesis Advantage 2. Um, it's modded and kind of ridiculous. You might have seen it on my blog post, but uh, this is the guy. It's all Heroes of the Stormed Up. And uh, yeah, I also have a Dactyl, but I haven't used that a whole lot. I never switched to it as a as my daily driver just because I didn't find it as comfortable as the Kinesis. But uh, yeah, without further ado... The pros to this guy. To me, it has a comfortable layout. It's a columnar stagger, and so what that means is instead of rows that are horizontally offset, you have columns that are vertically offset. It means it's just a little bit more like, it maps to your fingers better. You can kind of see, you know, middle fingers longer, so that's higher, makes sense. It also has thumb keys. So I personally press all four of these with my thumb. You could probably hit this one with middle finger instead, but I'd actually, I don't mind going like that with my thumb and kind of hitting it. It's, to me, that's comfortable. I also didn't really like the thumb clusters a whole lot in the advantage. So I think this is better. I think the three keys per thumb is plenty sufficient. Um, yeah, it feels way better for gaming. That's a big one for me because I work on games and the Kinesis feels good on for gaming, but you have to remap a lot of your keys half the time because putting your fingers on WASD doesn't really make sense. It doesn't feel good because that's not the way that the key wells are meant to, for your hand to sit in. So with this guy, you can actually comfortably sit on WASD, which means that you don't have to spend all the time just remapping everything before you can even play a game. You can just pick it up and play it with a default layout, which to me is really useful, especially if I'm, if I'm gonna like pick up a game on Steam, I wanna just be able to play it and try it without spending an hour figuring out what I need to do to make it playable. Um, it's compact. So the Kinesis Advantage is a monster. That thing's pretty damn big. This guy is nice and small. It's basically the same size as a 60%. It's about an inch taller, which isn't really a big deal. It means you can throw it in a backpack a lot easier. Getting a sleeve made for it is pretty easy because it's, like I said, basically a 60%. So uh, yeah, that's to me a big plus as well. Another one is it runs QMK firmware. I don't know if it supports TMK or other firmware, but for me, QMK is great. After using the Kinesis that uses proprietary firmware, this is way better because you can have as many layers as you want. Um, yeah, I mean, that's just, it, it speaks for itself. If you've ever tried to use proprietary firmware that didn't give you the functionality you wanted, and this one does, it's just, you know, it's night and day. And uh, lastly, if you care about this sort of thing, it has a way better sound and aesthetic. So the Kinesis is big and hollow, which means it sounds really like tingy when you hit keys on it. It kind of sucks. Um, I actually installed sound dampening foam in the bottom of mine, and it really didn't help all that much. It still sounded pretty gross. This sounds really nice because it's nice and shallow. It's well built and sturdy. So it, you know, it has a nice, like, I, I don't know how to describe that, but just a kind of like a, a click or a tick without any other like tinging or shitty noises to put it bluntly and it looks better like it it looks closer to a 60 percent something more aesthetic than a gigantic kinesis which a lot of people think look ridiculous to me i don't really care that much about that but you know if you do it's cool and so uh yeah the, the cons i only really have one and it's that these two thumb keys really suck so if you look at the way your thumb moves that's not where that key should be in my opinion. Like that's not really a comfortable way to hit a key. You sort of have to move your hand in an odd angle to hit it. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know why it was like that, but oh well. Also, I don't think they need to be 1.5 U keys. What that means is you have to put the keys on sideways. So the profile is sideways, which means you don't get the same um, like you know slant that you would get on your other thumb keys, which to me is less comfortable. Um, you know what, if there's one thing to complain about and that's it, it's not really a big deal, but it is kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, overall, it's a great keyboard. If you're thinking about getting one, I highly recommend it. I love it so far. Um, I bought mine pre-assembled because I'm lazy and it took about two weeks for it to get to my house. 
And uh, yeah, um, just a couple other things. So I have Gateron Reds in mind. I like linear switches. I have Enjoy PBT Alphas with the white with red text. I have just black Gateron blanks, which are actually the same keycaps, um, just without any um, legends on them. It has a nice short little dongle. This is a micro USB female, so you can basically just use any cable you want. And uh, yeah, it's nice and sturdy, well made, and I highly recommend getting one. Um, I'll put a link to my GitHub repository that has my layout on it. If you're familiar with QMK, that should be pretty easy to look at and read. And I'm going to put a video at the end of this just to kind of show what it looks like to type on it. It's really comfortable, feels good. So if you're, uh, if you're on the fence about whether or not to get one, I recommend it. It's great. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. <clears throat>